So in this episode, we're going to do some exercises having to do with result cache. Turning on result cache can be done in a number of different ways at the instance level, for example. But in this episode, I'm going to use um, the hint, the result cache hint. I'm also going to do some exercises with the HR schema, so I want to have some preliminary work to do first. So with that further ado, um, oh, also references having to do with result cache or any documentation is found in the um, database performing performance tuning guide in chapter 7. So let's do some preliminary work here first of all. So now let's do alter user HR identify HR alter user HR Also, I want to go ahead and flush some things. Alter system. system. Flush share tool. Flush share tool. Alter system. Flush buffer cache. And uh, um, exec dbms result cache dot flush. This, this will uh, flush all the a result caches that were so now let's just see if um, result cache is actually enabled in this particular database. So select DBMS result cache dot status module. We see that it is enabled. We can, we can see some init.or parameters associated with this um, with result cache. In one particular parameter, the result cache max size is is what determines whether something is enabled or not. So let's actually, just for fun, let's turn it off. Alter, alter, system, system, set, zero, and let's rerun our query. Notice that it's, now it's bypassed because we've turned um, the result cache max size to zero. So we're going to re Put it back now just for grins. And let's rerun our query. Okay, so now that the uh, um, result cache is turned on, let's run some queries as HR. I'm going to turn on auto trace. Let's run a particular query. And we can see that this particular query has some I.O. associated with it. So now let's go ahead and run the same query, but with the result cache in. Notice that there is still some I.O. the first time we run this with the result cache hint, but if we run it a second time, it's gone. There's no I.O., which is the desired result. So all that's good, uh, um, but um, I want you to look at some V-dollar um, tables associated with the uh, um, result cache, one of which is the following. 
Let's go ahead and run a particular query. All right, so turn off, turn off auto trace. Set auto, auto trace. Now select ID, time, status, name. See, we have our result cache query in this particular. Um, we can query off of it from V$ result cache objects. That's great. Um, now I want to do another uh, particular query, and to do so, I'm going to go ahead and flush this. So let's go ahead and flush this first. Sec. Cache dot flush, and then let's run this particular query again. Let's just And we see there's nothing there. So um, there's another particular V$ dollar, um, table I want you to look at, and that is the V$ dollar result cache statistics. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and um, flush some, the buffer pool, buffer pool and the buffer cache, so, or the, excuse me, the shared pool of the buffer cache. set to zero. Uh, so let's go ahead and reestablish our result cache query. Okay, that's great. Um, let's go ahead and run this query again. I can just type it out. Select dollar cash statistics. I'm sorry. Let's try this again. Value. Also looked at V dollar result cache objects. We still we see that they're oh it's still there, but um, it hasn't done any result cache just yet. So let's go ahead and run the query one more time. Okay, now let's go ahead and select value from dollar result cash statistics. And we can see 
that there is a one hit with result to find result cache statistics. The, the bad news about this particular query uh, on B-dollar result cache statistics is that this is a total number. So if you had multiple result cache queries, it would represent all of the result cache queries. So um, you would actually have to do some flushing and make sure that no other caches are being done at that moment to, to see if your result caches are working or not. So one other thing to do, we can run a report. So let's go ahead and look at that too. Set server output output on size and then um, exec DPS result cache dot memory report. And we get statistics for, um, involved with the, these particular result cache. And that's all for this particular exercise.